Right, welcome back to Spitting the Dripper Reviews, and today we're doing an e juice review on a company called Anchors Away Vapor. You can add these up at www.anchorsawayvapor.com. Um, you can check the link in the video as well as the show more section. We'd like to say a special thanks to Brandon Murdoch. They have 20 flavours in the range, and we're reviewing 8 flavours. Five from the Voyage line and three from the flagship line. Also, special respects goes out to Rochelle from Vape With Me for contacts for linking us with Brandon Murdoch and the Anchors Away group as well. Now, basically, the nicotine levels in these are a zero, three, and a six. They come in 30 mil glass bottles and they're a 70 30 VGPG, and the price of them are $17.99. Now, from the flagship range, we're doing Flagship, which is a Madagascan vanilla bean, sweet cherry, sweet cherry, subtle walnut, freshly roasted Costa Rican coffee, and a, a mellow Cavendish tobacco. Then we're doing Libertalia, which is Madagascan mango and saline tea. Then we're doing Clue Bay, which is an Irish coffee. Then Rum Runner, which is spiced rum and a refreshing cola. Then we're doing Portside, which is a chocolate and cherry cordial. Then we're going to be doing Silk Road, which is black and oolong tea rich with spices and reminiscent of chai tea then we're doing Constantinople which is a Turkish delight rose and powdered sugar and then finally Port Royale which is barrel aged rum vanilla and other light spices with a smooth Izmir tobacco so basically these are very intricate these flavors there's some from the tobacco genre there's some from the normal flavors type range so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a little taste up on these showing you in and around the logos and the packaging we're also going to talk about whether the flavors do what they say on the tin um, and whether we get individual layers coming through that aren't mentioned on the tin so uh, yeah we're really looking forward to these um, we're going to also have a cloud up on these check what the clouds are like and stuff like that so yeah catch us back in a minute Right, welcome back to Spitting the Drip Reviews, and like we said to you before, we're doing Anchors Away e juice. Now, basically, this company was sent to us out by um, Brandon Murdoch. Uh, we also got contacted by Vape with me, and she sent us the link to these guys. So, it's sort of like a, a review company, sort of friendship thing going on between the two of us. So, that's really nice that we like Thank to you. see. So, big up to the both of you. Now, basically, the flavours that we've got out in front of you, first of all, we're going to be doing the actual um, Voyage line, where there's five from them, and then we're going to be doing the actual flagship line. Now, so basically, first of all, if we just show you one of the bottles from the actual Voyage line, you'll see that these ones have got, like, these brown type of, it's like you know, the, packaging, really these, nice uh, old-fashioned. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like to do with the old boats and stuff like that as well, which I like. And then, obviously, the other range we're going to be doing after these are in this darker one. They're the flagship range. So yeah, well, first of all, like I said to you, we're starting with this type of range with the brown ones. Um, and the flavours in the range that we're going to be doing first of all and we're starting with is called Port Royale. Now, let me just read out that for you. Port Royale is a barrel aged rum, vanilla and other light spices with a smooth, smooth Izmir tobacco. Now I know these guys ain't very, same as myself, we're not really into the tobacco -y type vapes. We did them a long time ago when we first started vaping. but. We do like to have a little dibble back to them now and again and have a taste and see how they're going, how they're progressing because some of them were really awful back in the day but now things have moved on and things are starting to change with other flavours and layers so we're looking forward to trying the tobacco sides of these ones as well as the weird and intricate flavoured ones that he's done in these as well because I noticed there is some really crazy different types of stuff that you wouldn't normally see in a vape juice from other normal standard companies like you, you know you get your normal yeah. everyone's doing lemon at the moment and stuff like that but these are looking for different stuff so this is what we're going to be doing so yeah, should we start with Port Royale? Yeah, yeah, that's alright. Go, right. Go on. Yeah, boom. Set five on. So yeah, we're going to be starting with this one. What 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 is we hitting this at? Only fifty. Oh, wicked. Next. First one. one's yeah, Port Royal. This is a barrel aged rum, vanilla, and other light spices with a smooth Izmir tobacco. Mmm. That's really smooth. I'm definitely getting that that vanilla mixed with that rum, and it's really quite um, pleasant. It's quite nice. It's really it's really a nice taste. The tobacco's like uh, I can smell it in the vape, but it's not in your face in, right. in in the vape. If that makes sense. That's good. You can smell it, but you can't taste it. It's very smooth. It's very clean, and the after feel of it isn't leafy. You know, like some of the tobaccos leave yeah. it like that. Let, not, let me have another one on it. That's very nice. That's going to be one for the milder, you know, like the milder guys that like your lighter cigarettes, like your silk cuts and your lighter. This is going to be perfect because it's got that 
it isn't in your face, it isn't tobaccoy in an awful way. It's probably one of the best tobaccoy type ones that I've tasted because I'm not really into them anymore. But as times have moved on, there is getting to be some good ones like we was discussing. And this one seems to be really nice. I can't remember who it's by, but I like And I'm not joking, I seriously ago. think that you're going to think, wow, that don't even... That shocked me. And it doesn't like taste like what it smells, does it? One. it, it well back, didn't I? Let me have another smell of this. It was a sweet pipe tobacco, look. I, I mean, smelling that, you can smell it's mild. You can smell it's not a really strong tobacco. That's quite surprising, that one. I That's like what the I'm rum saying. The, vanilla the mix. rum's giving that sort of almost, mm. almost with the vanilla, almost on the verge of um, like a, 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 you know them rum bar bar. Mm. Do you remember the old mm. rum bar bar, like a like a donut with a, a soaked in a bit of rum with a cream yeah, on yeah. top? Yeah. It's got that sort of rum bar bar-y sort of taste to it. And I'm it, not getting a major tobacco. No, hit the there. Tobac tobacco's very smooth, and I like that. That's, again, that's why I said this is a good one. So this is your Port Royale. Let me show you the. Real nice little logo. We got this in a three milligram. I think it's the rum. It's nice it's for a, it's overpowering nice. the tobacco, which is like which is nice. nice. It's a nice, it's nice yeah. Yeah. It does say a smooth is me tobacco though, so perhaps that it may not be overpowering it because the, I don't think even the rum's that strong in there. If you think it's it's just creating this nice li little rum barbary type of taste. It's just enough to mm. give it that mm. edge, and I think it's it's great. What a good one, good one to start with. Shock me that. It's going to be great. One of them liquids that you read it. The, and you, you, we're not too sure, but then it's not bad at all. Definitely, and it's going to be good for the starter kit people as well as like people mm. that sub on because we've just sub on this, and, this and it wasn't harsh at all. And that's in a free. That's just really nice. Shocks me, yeah. Really nice. Okay, right. So moving on to the next one. This is Silk Road, and this is black and oolong tea, rich with spices, reminiscent of chai tea. Mm. I mean, I, we've been liking some but of the this tea ones. I was just coming about to say, when I've seen tea the first time we reviewed a tea one, we I was, was like, like behave, mm. you know. But then when we just yeah. like, wow. Hang exactly, on a there is this some is a really bit. good tea ones out there. Mm. So, yeah, I'm hoping this one follows suit and it's got that sort of, you know. There's another one with tea coming up as well, so look it out for that. It surprised me a yeah, bit. Yeah, it's got, it's, like, I only had a little one there, but you can taste that tea straight away. Lovely. Like, it, it's not horrible, it's nice. Lovely. I didn't actually get the mango, that's why I've dripped it again. This one ain't got mango, this one. This is the black and oolong yeah, tea. That one's coming up in a bit, that's why you couldn't taste it. <laughs> that's why I'm getting only tea, it's fine. <laughs> right. Obviously, we ain't going to yeah, tell the difference with, like, like between the black and the oolong, because yeah. we're not really tea drinkers. So, like, I can't pick out two teas in that, but that is it's nice. Right, let me have a little uh, test. It's not tea as in the way we have tea. It's yeah. not like tea oh, no. with milk. It's like mm. it's black tea. Black tea. Yeah, like a chai tea. Like a yeah. You know that that Thai Oriental. But feel. they've got it. They've Getting got it. Nice. spices in there. Mm, lovely. Yeah. Mm, really nice. They've got it bang on. Like if you, had a, if you had a cup of tea in the Chinese and um, you're waiting for your meal, like if you go down and take yeah, one and yeah, get a cup like of tea, a, you'd expect it to taste like that, bit. It's almost just sticky in a way, yeah. a little bit. Got a little bit of herbally woodiness going on. Um, again, it'd be a good one for the tobacco smokers, even though it's not got the tobacco in there. But this oolong tea um, with the spices is creating this sort of woody, tobaccoy, leafy feel, even more so than that. I think than the tobacco one they done. I think this tastes more tobacco, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Even though there's no tobacco yeah. in it, that makes sense. But that just must be the blend of spices of what. And it's even it. move a little bit of a burnty tongue, like a like a tobacco would. Maybe that's the spices, but because of the flavour of it tasting like tobacco. It's making it still, seem like it's, still it's lovely and pleasant. I mean, it's lovely and pleasant. I'm not dissing in any way. But you're but right I'm, though, there's more of a tobacco flavour to, to this that one, one than there is to the, to the one with the tobacco. It's strange. It's strange. Mm. So let's move on to the next one, which is called Constantinople. We're going to get bigger cop to jump straight in on this one. Right, this one's a Turkish delight, rose and powdered sugar. Now, they was talking in the description a bit more about this. The descriptions were massive and we weren't going to fit them all in because it would have literally took up the whole screen. And we'll put them in the show more section after so you have a good, good old read up on them. So at the moment, we're just giving you the basic profiles. But to be fair, this one did mention that from that rose, it's going to have a little bit of a floral taste. Um, which, yeah. you, know, you know, so I'm not really into them florally ones. I'm hoping it's not too bad. It's very, very sugar Verily, yeah. You're getting a slight sugar lick to it, but it's really The powder florally. coating from the Turkish. I think the floral just overpowers yeah. everything, uh, if I'm honest. Shame. It really is. I'm now left with, like, I've just had a flower. Uh, it's a shame, it's if like I'm honest. Yeah. Sort of. oh, Even right, though it does smell it's... like a load of flowers and all. It is really florally. I mean, 
you know, if you like your floral vapes, then yeah, this is some of you. I mean, it's really powerful with flavours. Referring back to your flavors. grandparents again, but it's like when my nan used oh. to go out of the bath. Yeah, oh, it's it not some of me. It does but taste, to be fair, the <laughs> Turkish delights in there, I can taste that. They've done well with that, getting that to feel like a Turkish for the first. The rose though is so powerful. With the first, first and a half, like second and a half to two seconds, I get Turkish. And then in comes this rose and literally ruins it with loads of floral. Yeah. Um, for me, it's not a. That's not it's more like your, your Nan's handbaggy sort of floral but as well. If you, you know, do like, have like that rose and powdered sugar Turkish delight. Yeah, it smells no, I've had just that, like that. The traditional Turkish yeah. delight. Yeah. The start of it's so unreal. It's just like a Turkish, and it's so lovely. And, it, and I just don't like the way it then goes into that rosy after effect. But I know Turkish delight does do that, and it leaves you with that rosy after effect. So they've done it well. I mean, if that's what you're looking for, this is perfect. It is mm. great. They have got the Turkish right. Yeah, if you do like your floral, florally taste. I just don't like them florally so, ones. So know? far, I would say that this probably, at the moment, is heading towards just your um, star kits and stuff like Definitely. that. Like when you've just got off the fags, because they are leaning to that like, tobacco yeah. side of it. And like, yeah, a little bit of a feel to them, like, you know. But um, this Turkish is really nice in a way where, for the first, second, half, two seconds, it's luscious. It's, um, it's, it's a strong, juicy Turkish delight, really sweet, almost boldly sweet, but not, you know, like it should be with that softy, juicy bite. Um, but then rose kicks in, yeah. Then that rose flowers. Kicks in. Yeah, it's, it's flowers, yeah. you know, it's a bit. Which, but, just over which does happen it. in Turkish yeah. delight, to be fair, but you, in a vape, you'd rather that cut down a bit and just be mm. left with that sweety, juicy Turkish flavour. like that flavor. rose in the background, not. Yeah. As it comes, as you, it's as a as bit, you say, back up, as you exhale, yeah. then it just takes over everything. Definitely. You know? no, right, no. next one. You're called Libertalia. Remember we showed you this one right at the start? This ah, one's called this Libertalia. This is the mango one. This is the this is one I'm looking mango forward to. and sea long tea. Yeah. Really looking forward to this one. As you know, we've done a few from these which have got the mango and the teas in. And every time we've found one, like generally, they've really got a lovely sort mm. of fresh um, morning vapey sort of, you know, wake me up, feel nice. That sort of vibe. So I'm hoping this one's got that. And it smells nice. Sorry, I've can or can taste this flowers. Yeah. Can't wait to make that. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, that's nice. Juicy mango. It's a smooth mango. Pretty good. What nicotine have we got that in? Fruit. So let's move on to the next one, which is Clue Bay. And this is an Irish coffee. So cream. First time. Whiskies. First time we've tried an Irish coffee. Mm. I've not tried a decent Irish coffee. So it's strange, but it, again, I'm looking forward to finding out could what it does. Could complement your morning coffee. You know well, what I mean? It could be a, a morning vape there. Who knows? It's but a Irish strange one. Is, uh, I want to smell it. This is called Clue Bay. Mmm. It's definitely got that niceness feel to it, but it's got a little bit of a tobacco smell again, and that's in the big bottle again. It's definitely not harsh, and it's definitely leaning towards the tobacco. Tobacco yeah, again, not, yeah. I just think this tobacco. company's, especially this What's range. What's the uh, thingy again? This, it's uh, this, Irish coffee. Yeah. Well, so this range is called... Whiskey, creamy... I was expecting Baileys. It of. smells a bit like that, but with tobacco. I've got the Baileys taste now, but it's more like they've, it's a Irish cream tobacco. Well, more I'm right. hoping. I'm hoping. Let's just hope that the voyage line may be towards the starter kit and the and the tobacco side, and then when we move over to the you flagship can... line, we may be getting to our era. You know, like the sub I'm in, the the people that like just the flavours rather than us. But I'm I not sure because you're getting a hint of you know, coffee, but it's quite dull. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Do you know what I mean? It's not like yeah. they've not used a strong coffee. I mean, yeah. if you smell that. You can smell. But you are right, the, bad yeah. They seem to be hitting out the starter kit and the tobacco people yeah, all throughout. I'll, yeah. Um, and they've got that feel to them. A lot of them. And that's just our guess. If that's what you're aiming at, then you've done well. You've done, yeah, they have. But I would have liked a few in there that didn't have See, that tobacco like, feel. Do you feel from, like it's leaning well. to the tobacco mm. side again? But it doesn't smell like it in the bottle. It smells like the, the Irish coffee, the Baileys. Yeah, yeah I was getting a little bit of a smell of a, a, a fag in there, like you know, like that sort of mind, old school tobacco. I don't mind tobacco. the Baileys and that every mm. now and again. But, but at the end now... Like when I'm, you first smell, yeah. you get like a little bit of a... You're getting that Irish you know, coffee yeah, smell. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like but when you have a baby you know I mean? after you get that sort of dryness in your mm. mouth. I'm getting that from it. But it is a bit tobacco y. Mm. Yeah. It's a strange one. Mm. I'm going to have another juice up and just one more taste. Very dark as well, this one. 
That's the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah, I mean, as a, as a whole, I mean, if you're into your tobacco vapes, then I would say check some yeah, of these out. Coming away from the stinkies, then. Yeah, this is definitely not got that amazing whiskey taste. Um, and again, coffee, mm. a little tiny creme, yeah. maybe crema, sort of very milky coffee. Um, but the main protrusion flavour in it again it seems to be this tobacco leniency yeah. that's going on throughout them. And it's got that in there, but again, it's a bit spicy on the tongue. A lot of people out there like their tobacco vapes. Mm. I think they're, they're quite like these. Mm. Yeah, if, yeah, you're, if you're into your tobacco vapes. They are good for tobacco sites, yeah. you know. Definitely, most definitely. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to pause up. Um, we're going to come back with the flagship range. We've got three from them. Um, these little three beauties here. So we're going to do these in the black labels now. So catch us back in a minute when we pause up and we come back with the other range. Come back to Spitting the Drip Reviews and like we said to you before, we're doing Anchors Away and this is the second range from them and these are called Flagship. Now the first one we're going to be starting with is called Flagship and um, then we're going to be doing Rum Runner and Portside. So let's show, Big is just going to show you in around the bottle. And Flagship, this is a Madagascar vanilla bean, sweet cherry, subtle walnut, Freshly roasted Costa Rican coffee and a mellow Cavendish tobacco. Oh, so we're still with the tobacco lips. Tobacco. I was hoping this would be a different range from that stepping out from the tobacco, really. And this has got a, right. a lot of flavours in it. So wow. it should be eating some. Not good. The tobacco is really strong. Really, yeah. You know, like. Um, it says a mellow a Cavendish, high. but maybe Cavendish tobacco is but to, strong. To me personally, Ooh. that's a really strong tobacco. It's the walnut as well. Is it walnut? Yeah, walnut. Oh, I can taste that straight yeah. away. Walnut. You're getting the flavour. If you can. If you can, sweet cherry, vanilla. If you've got like an old oven tobacco, put I it in a blender more, with a load of walnuts. That's what you've got. I think it's more the tobacco's just took it oh, over. Oh, yeah. You are getting the walnut, but the mm. cherry and the vanilla. This is definitely coffee. one for the, Do you know what, though? Even though it's saying it's a coffee. strong tasting tobacco, it's not a harsh tasting tobacco. It is smooth. You're not like a smell coffee, it's smooth. Tobacco. It that's is. the taste. Yeah, if you're a pipe, on a pipe yeah, tobacco. Yeah, remember the old pipes? If you did a pipe tobacco, this one's definitely for you. If, you're, if you want to come off of pipes and go into vaping. Yeah, that was very stringy. Perfect. Pipes, right? It's yeah. perfect. Very dark. Now, maybe in your smock, if you have the smock pipe. Yeah, oh, with this in it, <laughs> or a camera then you, literally yeah. you could be back to smoke. smoke. You, you're I mean, right, no, you're bang on point, bigger. That's a, a good point. Yeah. 18350 like camera pipes, them sort See, of things. See, I like this. These boys have just found a new thing. This is a good use for that. If you've come from that, you know, a lot of us keep saying, oh, we're trying to get your stingies into vaping. Don't forget there's people out there that are on pipes as well that have smoked pipes or cigars. Um, and these type of ones have got that feel to them, they've got that flavour, they've got that oomph about them. Mm. So uh, again, it's not a really harsh one. It's smooth, but it's got it's that smooth, strong taste. But it's going down that pipe tobacco, which is a really strong rich, tobacco. Very yeah. rich. With the walnuts, it's very strong. I'm not getting any cherry or vanilla, but maybe that's because mm. the tobacco is quite strong. That yeah. it's uh, over. And um, we're getting our office redecorated at the moment. So we're in our outdoor office. So you have to excuse the noises that's going on around us. We're in our external one. We've got next door's neighbour's dog going absolutely crazy. But ignore that. <laughs> He's not getting involved in our vaping. No, he can get his own. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, going back to this juice, yeah, it's it's a, it's it's a mad one. It's a um, it's it's great for the tobacco world, but for the for the pipe smokers, I think mm. it's got that little bit more too strong here for the people that have come off tobacco. For me, there's ones in there for them in the, in the other range in the in the what was the other range called in the voyage line now this line's more for the stronger well not the whole line but this one that I've tasted so far seems to be for the stronger pipe lines. yeah this so yeah. far yeah definitely for me this reminds me of when I was first like smoking I used to nick roll ups on my granddad yeah no, it's <laughs> I true used to very smoke strong drum. yeah 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 which very is a uh, virgin yeah. on pipe tobacco isn't it really yeah and that's exactly what definitely. I'm not getting much more than that really no, that's there's right. a slight the vanilla slight definitely Right, next right. one we're running on to is called Rum Runner. And this is spiced <laughs> like rum. <laughs> and this is spiced rum and refreshing cola. Alright, brilliant. Go for it. Let's have a taste. I normally like the cola ones and oh, having can, a bit of rum in, in the there. bottle. You can really smell the cola, like you can smell the fizz. Really does like water. Oh, that's them. nice. Oh, here we go. <laughs> We've finally got to my range. <laughs> here we go. This is lush. This is really nice. I'm really pleased with this one. It smells cola, it smells fizzy. It's amazing. It doesn't end with that dry cola either. Right, let me explain. You know a lot of these colas that are about at the moment have got a lovely start to them, then they go powdery. This one doesn't. It's got a lovely start and a lovely um, 
almost ice pole feel to the end of it. Like you've started with a can of Coke and then you've gone into an ice pole juice at the end. It's got a really lush feel to it. And not so much of the rum either. There's not hardly any rum in there to me. But it's got a little feel that's giving it a little bit of a, a tiny spice on the tongue afterwards, but not until 10, 15 seconds mm. after the vape. All along, it's just beautiful cola. I love this. That's nice. Love it. I like that. Wow. It's the fizz. You're getting the fizz. You're mm. getting the cola. Oh, it's lovely. The you know smell the cola of it. I'm getting? Are you now getting that spice from the rum later? But not a taste. It's more of a, 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 a spicy a tongue. Just flavour. Just yeah. sides. You know? I won't name drop. It smells like another cola. You know the cola vintage I'm getting? Cola. Yes. Cola yes, cubes. but this, this one doesn't end dry like the vintage cola. I'm getting You'll the taste see. of cola cubes. Mm, Remember the old definitely, old sweet cola definitely. cubes? And you get that ice poly bit at the mm. end that it sort of almost changes from a normal cola into an ice poly That's cola. That's really nice. It's if you nice. like your cola, you're going to love this. Then definitely mm. run, 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 run is the one. Go out, run, get wow. it. It's lovely. Mm. After, when you, after the I would have called it Cola Runner because to me it's got more of a cola than a rum, it's even really though nice. it's nice to mention that it's a, you know. You know, like when you've done a it's shot definitely of more rum, cola than rum. And you get that. After that, help. yeah, yeah, but that's not until no, after, right after, yeah, like, 10 seconds after the exact. exactly, yeah. But yeah, I'm all the way through, what one. an amazing cola! Come on, back up, let's hear some views on this cola. It's up there with all the other colors, it's, it's, nice, it? it's it really took is. some of the colas that I used it's to different like. Different as well, it's got a different liquor. No, that's a so If you do like your colas, it's worth getting it's got the fizzy it's tongue, it's got that different lick to it than the rest. And now, right, it is like cola cubes, it's lovely. Mm, right, we're going to be it. moving on to the last one in this range, and this one's called Portside. Um, I'm going to get Bad Cop to read out this one. Uh, obviously, you've seen the logos on these. That's this one. It just says Portside. So, sorry, it just says Portside at the bottom. Short and sweet. This is chocolate and cherry cordial. Right. Chocolate cordial and cherry cordial. Chocolate cold cherries, right? eh? Mm. Mm, it does smell a bit like almondy, like cherry almonds. Wow, yeah. The smell in the bottles. Mmm. Virgin or marzipan mm. in the bottle. Cherry's lovely. I don't like marzipan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not marzipan. This but one's that's, nice. No, but if you're smelling nice. the, the bottle. Right, now, there's a good thing about this, there's a bad thing about this. Let me start. The good thing, the cherry, it starts off luscious, it starts off fresh, juicy, tasty, really makes you go wow. Smell that. Then all of a sudden, I'm waiting for chocolate, doesn't appear. But what actually happens is the cherry turns into floral again right at the very end, and that to me, that put me off. I was waiting for chocolate rather than floral. When you eat floral. cherries, you know, like the skin of the cherry. You get what I mean? The skin of the cherry like can be quite floral. Parma violet at the end. I'm a bit disappointed actually because no, the chocolate. beginning, I mean, I like, I like a bit of battenberg cake. So yeah. I like the old marzipan and that. Yeah, and but straight away the first second, it's luscious. You get that cherries, marzipan and, and yeah, cherry that, that and fresh and raw cherry. That goes like that. Yeah. And then I'm left with this florally taste. Yeah, like, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you're into uh, them, what they called again, them Palma Violet sweets yeah, I was talking oh, yeah. about, it, darling, I mean, you're going to love this. Yeah, definitely. You know? If you like Palma Violets, but like a bit of cherry almond as well, then this is perfect for you. But to me, the cherry almondy taste at the start was bang on point, and then all of a sudden it went floral and it just killed it off. Me. I would like to have stayed that cherry almondy taste, mm. would have been wow. Mm. Yeah. It's still a good vape, though. It's not yeah. harsh, it's smooth, it's lovely and clean. But, um, yeah. No. No, it's not one for me. No. <laughs> but what, no. what are you saying about it? Like, it's like marzipan. Yeah, but what about as you get through? Did you get that floral ending? Yeah. Like, I was looking for chocolate rather than, yeah, you I'd, know? Yeah, if I vote that that nine that it was chocolate and cherry cordial, I would never say it was chocolate. No, no, definitely not. Yeah, it's crazy. But, um, yeah, basically, don't forget to subscribe to us. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, as well as YouTube. Um, this has been Anchors Away Vapor. Again, big up to Brandon Murdoch for sending these over to us. And definitely, if you're into your starter kits or your tobacco sides, do check out a lot of yeah, these. Check out um, basically, if you're like us and you love your fruity flavoured ones, there's a couple in there to be looking out for as well, especially that cola. That was yeah. really nice. Yeah. Um, again, big up to Vape with me as well for, for getting us in contact with Murdoch um, and the full crew at Anchors Away Vapor. I'm just... You know, I'm impressed. They're nice for the for the for the starter kit side, but to me, it just let me down a little bit on the side where there could have been a few more flavours for us type of sub on vapors that are well off them sort of tobacco type mm -hmm. ones now. More and like maybe, the cola one. Exactly. And maybe, I mean, it's got a, it's 20 in his range, so like basically yeah. there may be a lot more flavours that you know that mm. are probably. See, this is only eight, so yeah. So you know. But yeah. definitely, there was one there that stood right out to me, and that cola, I would, I mean, would I go and get it again? Most definitely, yeah, I love so, it. I yeah. think it's lush, really nice. So yeah, catch us back next time on Spitting the Dripper Reviews.